You're tuned in to Dynamics Talk, hosted by the one and only Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So last week I was fortunate enough to attend the Microsoft Ignite conference and there were a lot of announcements. But if there's anything that became clear to me is that obviously Microsoft is still going to invest in AI and agents very, very heavily. I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon, but one thing that I felt kind of stand out in the middle of all of these announcements is the fact that these agents are not just assistants anymore that just answer questions and that you can chat with. They've become core players in this low code and business app world, right? This is really a turning point on how we build and how we automate and how we innovate, right? As our role as makers. So the focus when we're building these solutions are really going to be, uh, what do I want this to do versus how do I build this again, in my opinion. So I really see be agents becoming the makers rent right hand man, right hand woman, whatever you want to call it. But it's really important to understand that I don't think this, these agents are about replacing the makers. I really believe that it's all about amplifying makers and making their job easier. So having said that, there's too many announcements obviously to put in one video. So I'm just going to cover the announcements that I thought were the top announcements during Ignite. So the first thing I want to talk about is Agent 365. And this was something that I felt was always missing, right? Microsoft rolled out all of these different options to build agents. We have Foundry, we have Copilot Studio, but it was really not no one place to manage and, and govern and secure these agents, right? So this is where Agent 365 comes in. This is that single single control hub where we can do all of these different things. And these are not just agents that are built by using Microsoft tools, which I mentioned earlier, Copilot Studio and Foundry, etc. We also can actually manage our open source agents there as well, or our third party agents as well. And this is all coming back to one very important thing, one of the many important things, but what does your agent have access to, right? So this is very, very uh, important. Now, this obviously also comes with dashboards and analytics, so you can see all of your agents, you can see what's going on, right? All of those types of things. But I also wanted to mention that obviously, right, all of these features, these capabilities are integrated with these Microsoft security tools such as Defender and Entra and Purview as well. So this is gonna make it a little bit easier for us. And the, the reason why this is important, right, especially those integrations that we have with Entra, being able to assign an Entra ID to an agent, this means that now they can be governed and secured just like our human users. I was gonna say human agents, but no, we're human users, right? So this is gonna make it easy to track the guardrails, right? What do we want them to have access to? We can monitor them and we can also protect them from threats. So this is a whole uh, new thing that is now coming and you can actually sign up for early access as I'm speaking about this. The next one that was mentioned during the keynote, this is also a big one. In the beginning, I didn't really understand uh, why. Well, I did understand why, but I'm gonna to get to that here in a second. So this work IQ, this is the intelligence layer that helps your co-pilot and your agents that you're building understand you, your role, and your organization. So it gets your business, it understands your workflows, and relationships and then most importantly how everything fits together it's built on three different pillars data memory and inference so when i'm talking about data think about all that business data right think about emails think about microsoft team meetings databases business systems right that is usually an organization's most valuable asset right that data but usually it's hard to get the right information out of it because it's all separated. It's all in disparate, uh, in different systems. It's all scattered all over the place, right? So with Work IQ, this is going to help Copilot and your agents, obviously as well, unlock that data, turning it into real actionable 
value, so very important. The second one here is memory, and this is gonna allow Copilot and your agents to personalize the responses, right? Remembering your style, remembering your habits, and your preferences. So it tracks workflows, it understands how people and tasks and tools, and all of those things are connected. So it's it gives uh, intuitive feedback or answers or whatever you want to call that, right? And this is really important, obviously. And then lastly, we have in inference, which is is all of those different things. It's, it takes all of those signals from all the things that I mentioned earlier, from that data, from the memories, right? To make those smart connections, provide the insights, and even predict, predict the next best action or the next best agent for that job. Now, my question that I had was, okay, we today we have connectors. Now you're talking about work IQ. Um, what's the difference here, right? Well, think about it this way. Connectors are usually just pulling data, right? Without any context, just the data. Now, the work IQ is different because this is this works, I should say, across all data, right? With the full context in mind. So it's really giving you that full picture or it's getting the full picture, I should, should say, which is gonna be resulting in more accurate and relevant and personalized results. Now, it also comes with APIs for building your own agents, right? I kinda, this is what I was referring to when I said not just Copilot, but also your own custom agents that you're building so that it can reason in your business context, not just the generic logic. So this was a very, very big one. Now, the next one, I, I really love this feature. This is the Upgraded Power Apps Maker Workspace. This is actually currently in preview and you can try this out yourself as well. Uh, this is obviously a game changer, I think, for app builders because first of all, you're not gonna be dragging and drop dropping stuff all over any anymore because this is gonna be an AI-powered workspace. So you can start creating your apps and your logic just by chatting with Copilot in natural language. And the nice thing, well, the interesting thing I should say is that it's actually using four agents as part of this new experience. We have the requirements agents and that listens to what you want the app to actually do in it and it helps define those user stories for you. Then we have the data agents. This is really going to design the data model, right? So the tables, all the relationships, etc. And this is based on the requirements, right? That you enter in there. And then we have the code agent, which is going to produce the underlying code. So not just a formula-based Canvas app, right? You, you're gonna be able to see all that code that's being created by that code agent. And then we have the solution agent, and that is really the agent that orchestrates the entire process, also ensuring that all of those pieces are fitting together. Now, for example, if I go to Copilot, right, in that particular new upgraded Power Apps Maker workspace, and I say, hey, I need an app with these screens and these fields and this logic, it can then create that full, if needed, a multi-page app. And the other thing that's really, really nice is that if you make any changes, let's say you're updating the data model, right, but you also need to update your user interface, guess what? It all stays in sync. It will do that for you. So this is also a very, very nice feature. And today you can try this out. I believe it's vibe.powerapps.com where you can try this out. Now, again, this is important because this is going to make building apps a lot easier and obviously a lot faster as well. The other thing is that you don't have to wait for developers anymore, right? If you did this in the past where you wanted to build an app, but you needed a developer to develop all those screens and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to do that anymore. So this is gonna give you a head start versus having to wait for those other folks in your organization. The other thing is that everything is now in one unified canvas. So there's less context switching, right? Because you're just doing everything right there. Uh, now, like I said, again, you can go to vibe powerapps.com to check this out. You do have to have Copilot enabled in your tenants and also in the environment where you're gonna try this out at. Um, unfortunately, currently it's only in the US and only in the English language, but hopefully you're gonna be able to, uh, to check this out and kind of see how you like this new experience. 
Now, another great feature that I was very glad to hear about is the Power Apps MCP server. And you're probably going to wonder, what is this? Well, think about this as a power tool for your agents, because this is going to allow your agents to interact with any of your Power Apps, right? They can start using that. So there's no custom API needed for this. And agents can get access to these Power Apps just like a human would, right? Obviously we can also put guardrails into place, but uh, this is a big one because now our agents are gonna be able to submit approvals or update records or trigger processes, uh, pull data that's already exposed in the app, right? And many, many other things as well. Now, I think this is a great one because this again enables a connection between apps and agents, right? They're gonna have full access or whatever access you decide to give them to that particular app. And agents can now tap into that logic without the need for APIs. This is also gonna allow agents to handle real tasks in your business processes and not just answering questions. So this is definitely a big one as well. There's also something announced that's called agent evaluations. And I think this is a big one because we really didn't have a good way to test our custom built agents yet. So this is gonna help with that. Obviously this is just the beginning, right? But currently this is gonna allow you to perform automated tests for your agents. And then obviously you can review those outcomes. PowerCat I believe also has something in place currently that you can take a look at if you wanna go ahead and start testing your Copilot agents. But this is hopefully a good start uh, inside of Copilot Studio. Another tool in Copilot Studio is the ability to create a computer use tool. And you're gonna say, what the heck is that? That's exactly what I said. So I actually saw a really cool demo. So I kind of understand a little bit better now what this does. This actually, the only way that I can describe it is that it gives your agents virtual hands and eyes on a Windows computer, right? So it can click buttons, it can navigate menus, it can type into forms, it can type and go to websites, right? Or it can use desktop applications on a PC, right? All those things that you normally would have a user to do, click and point and type, all those types of things, they can now be done by that tool computer use. And by the way, this is not gonna be very hard to configure because we're giving the instructions in that tool or in that agent, again, natural language, right? This is what we are already used to. So this is gonna continue on with this tool as well. And this is obviously important because this opens up a lot of possibilities, right? Now we can automate data entry, we can automate invoice processing, just to give you a couple of examples. And we don't need to have complicated integrations for that, right? We can just use this tool for that. Another great use case for this is your legacy systems. I do not know of any organization who does not have a very old, I want to say, but right, legacy systems that might not have APIs that we can integrate into. Well, this is where that's definitely going to come in handy. So also great, great feature that uh, I can't wait to get my hands on. And I think you can actually uh, try this out today. So some of my key takeaways, right? Here, um, as I just mentioned earlier as well, I really believe that AI and AI agents are here to stay and they're really evolving into full-blown team members, right? They're, they're not just our assistants anymore. They can actually help with other things now as well. So Work IQ, I talked about that a little bit as well, helps your agents and co-pilot to return smarter, more context-aware suggestions. The agents in a new Power Apps workspace will help us build agents or apps, <laughs> sorry, faster and Power Apps MCP server allows agents to actually interact with apps just like our human users do today. The computer use allows agents to interact with the computer, right? Also accessing legacy systems without APIs. And now we also have Agent 365 that is a centralized place to manage, govern, and secure all of our agents across the organizations. I really believe that all of these updates uh, mark a turning point by enabling apps and agents to work together seamlessly, to collaborate, provide insights, 
and deliver real business value, value like we have never seen before. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are, and which one of these features is your favorite. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.